Hello everyone, and welcome back once again to Let's Play Cataclysm Dark Days Ahead with Frozen Voxy. Last time we left off, we were playing Frozen Voxy. Me. <laughs> because uh, it was suggested. Um, we also started to discover that there's actually some information in this game that um, more or less begins to uncover um, what's going on. Which is kind of uh, interesting. Also, I wasn't uh, exactly sure if we read the uh, SRCF one, so I'm gonna go ahead and look at that one instead of the CDC one, which is what I was going to do. Um, let's try and hack into this. Let's see here. Director Grimes released a series of yeah, we've read that one. Okay, just want to make sure. Let's check out the CDC one. All right. Uh, to all SRCF staff from Ellen Grimes, director of the EPA. Your site, along with many others, has been found to be contaminated with what we will now refer to as redacted. This is totally like SCP or... What, what, what is going on here? <laughs> Alright, uh, it is uh, vital that you stand by for further orders. We are... Currently awaiting the president to decide our course of action in this national crisis. Uh, you will proceed with fail-safe procedures and rig the sarcophagus with C4 as outlined in publication 4423. We will send you orders to either detonate and seal the sarcophagus or remove the charges. It is of utmost importance that the facility is sealed immediately when the orders are given. We have been alerted by Homeland Security that there are potential terrorist suspects that are being detained in connection with, recent, with the recent national crisis. Director of the CDC. Interesting. So it almost sounds like um, either they were testing with something um, that's in some kind of container, or they literally lugged up some sarcophagi from uh, perhaps that nearby temple that we saw. And uh, I don't know how they did it, and I don't know how they sealed it up. I have no idea about any of that stuff, but um, I'm finding this rather, rather interesting and uh, quite unique. This is uh, this is a little more than survival now. It's it's more about learning what's going on and um, who knows, maybe perhaps stopping what's going on eventually. Let's check out what the uh, U.S. Army is uh, talking about here. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Whatever that was, it was uh, too much for me to hack and we, we screwed up the computer. Alright, well that was interesting. We found an indoor plant. Aw, oh, I wanted to read more. All right, well, we, we've discovered some new things that are um, that are beginning to open our eyes to what's what's going on around here, and um, I like it. I am quite interested to find out what's going on. We've got solid rock that's impassable here. Can't see that. I imagine that's just more rock. And it looks like I'm going to throw up from getting this poisoning eventually. And I'm pretty sure that um, they must have blown it from what we were reading. Um, and this is just the rock that is still here. So anyways, this fence was um, smashable, right? Yeah. So let's try and smash our way out of here. We're getting a little bit of pain. There we go. Let's see what we've got going here. We've got wire and other items. A whole bunch of wire. <laughs> Alright, um... How heavy is that? That's pretty heavy. Can we walk over this? Yeah, we can walk over that just fine. Well, at the very least, we've got a way to go out the back. I think I'm going to, uh start taking some aspirin or something because we are getting uh, to the point that we need something and we're very thirsty and very hungry I don't think we're gonna make it out alive at this point so this is probably going to be the end of me which is fine um, I did not expect to get far as myself um, and there's no no road back here and 
I think we're screwed at this point. Do I have anything... Yeah, I can drink the plastic bottle of water, which is just going to make things worse on me. I should probably do that. And I should look around for anything that could help me. This is a blueberry bush, so let's go ahead and see if we can't get something out of it. Oh, thank God. Eat it. Eat those blueberries. Um, yeah, if I'm going to survive, I'm going to need to, to do some quick thinking here. A hazmat bot? What? Is that what was making all that noise? That may very well, yeah. That may very well be it. That could have been the noise. It's hostile. A utility robot designed for hazardous conditions. It only means to stop intruders, or its only means to stop intruders, appears to involve thrashing around one of its multiple legs. Hmm. Okay. Well, I will ignore that for now. I have no idea where that thing came out of. Maybe I was just kind of eluding it by walking. Oh man, it smashed through that real quick. That's not uh, good at all. Uh, no, I don't want to do that. Okay, um, wow, this thing is fast because I'm not currently. <laughs> Oh boy, this is this is very bad. I don't think I can take on a hazmat bot, in all honesty. I think I am going to end up getting screwed over here. This is very bad. Especially because my strength is down to nothing right now. And who knows why the hell that is. Because I don't have food poisoning, maybe it's my thirst. It's probably my thirst is what it is. Great. I am really screwed right now. Because if I drink what I've got on me, I'm going to uh, end up giving myself more food poisoning and this thing is going to catch up to me. There's just no way I can get away from this. I'm so screwed right now. What is on my map currently? There's a lab. Science lab. Yeah, I'm screwed. <laughs> I don't think we're getting away from this guy. He's gaining. Dude, I'm not I'm not there anymore. Just leave me alone. Leave me alone. Alright, fine, I'll fight you. Oh boy. This is not good. I don't think I'm uh, going to be able to do anything to this guy because of how thirsty I am. I'm just kind of screwed at the moment. Yeah, I'm dead. <laughs> there is no way I am defeating this hazmat bot whatsoever. <laughs> All right, die to a hazmat bot. That's different. Okay. Well, whatever. Um, you know, since this was so short, uh, and I haven't killed anything yet, I am going to uh, move on and play another character. And that is what happens when it's me. I get screwed the hell out of everything. So I got really thirsty. But um, I did discover that there is stuff going on in this, uh, in this world. And I really like that, uh, that knowledge. Um, so we're going to go ahead and start a new character here. Um, so you guys are not going to be able to request for this character. But maybe for the next one. Um, let's see, what the hell am I going to do for this one? I'm going to make this guy, hmm, possibly like maybe an army guy or something. That seems like it would be interesting. Or, you know what? Maybe I should make him like a thief. We'll, we'll make him like a, a sort of a thief guy. And, uh, we'll see what we can do with that. So he's going to have a little extra strength, I would imagine. Um, some dexterity, maybe a little perception here. Um, we are going to make him a heavy sleeper. Um, he's not going to have a bad back because then he wouldn't be able to take stuff with him. He's going to have a bit of poor hearing. 
He's got insomnia because he stays up all night stealing stuff. Um, let's see. He is a lightweight because he is not very good when he uh, when he drinks alcohol and stuff. He's not the trigger happy kind of thief though. Um, let's see here. During great moments of stress, blah blah blah, shake controllably. We don't want that. We're going to avoid that. Huh. I don't want mood swings. That sounds like it would be very bad. Um, we're gonna make him ugly. Um. No. I think that may be very well all that I'm going to uh, to give him. Um. I think I'm gonna give him a little extra dexterity. Move over here. We are going to make him uh, fleet-footed um, so that he can move a little bit more uh, quickly. Um, get a 10% bonus to action points. No, we are not going to be a light eater. Um, he'll have night vision because he's a thief, so he needs it. Um, let's see here. Anything else? That he would have, um, suppose he would be inconspicuous considering that he's a thief. But then again, light step seems like it would be something that he would have too. Hmm. Yeah, but now we're out of points if I do it that way. Let's see here. What else would a thief have? Perhaps he'd have a glass jaw, because uh, he's not the kind of guy who would stand and fight. Let's see if there's anything else here. Nope. He'd probably be a skilled liar, but I'm not going to go with that. Um, he's good at dodging the law, and he's probably got some kind of... Uh, baseball bat or something and he's a little bit good with firearms and that's probably going to be it I don't think he's going to be very good with anything else that seems uh, on target and um, in fact instead of a he let's make this a she so this is a female thief why not that um, would be interesting why can't I I'm pressing spacebar to toggle, like it's telling me to, but for whatever reason, ah, there we go. That is why I needed to do that. Okay, um, let's go ahead and pick a random name. Jennifer Martinez. That sounds like a perfect thief name. Why not? Jennifer Martinez. Jennifer the thief. All right, so we are now Ginny. Let's see. Why do we keep starting really close to um, the same spot? It's like just basically moving us up one at a time here. What is going on? All right, whatever. Got a bunch of houses up here. Got a pharmacy. Um, we got a military surplus, liquor store. Seem to be going along this river quite a bit. We know this place is full of zombies and it's got a cougar outside. So we'll avoid that. Um, I think we'll head up on this road and head into this town here. After we have uh, smashed some stuff. And um, gotten ourselves at least a nail board. Come on. Give me something. I think I may need a hammer for a nail board. So I'm going to need to grow, um, grab a rock from outside to get that going. Pick up a 2x4. Actually, I want the nails as well. Nails. Nails. And nails. Perfect. Let's see. Do I need... Yes, I do need a rock. I'm gonna go ahead and grab these. I think this is apples here. Oh. 
All right, we got a couple of apples. Looks like there's a truck down here, or what's left of a truck. Um, what is this? Got a mushroom. You're not gonna do mushrooms, cause we will probably smoke those and get screwed all to hell. And that is just not a very good thing to do. Okay. Maybe someday we will uh, avenge ourselves and go back to um, to kill that robot thing. But for now, we... Jeez, uh, these giant mosquitoes are everywhere in this swamp land. But for now, we are not strong enough to do anything. Hey, buddy, come here. Where, where are you going? You, you trying to fight these mosquitoes? Is that what's going on? No, I want to talk to this guy. Daniel Murphy. At least we've got a shelter. So, what should we do now? He has no idea. Um, let's see here. Can I do anything from you? Just, uh, have one job for you. Want to hear about it? Sure, why not? Tell me. There's some important software on my computer that I need on a USB. Okay, well, that should be interesting. I'll do it. Thanks. Just, uh, pull the data onto this USB drive and bring it to me. Okay, so I think he's given us a USB. That's interesting. Uh, could you share some equipment? Why should I share my equipment with you? Uh, well, I'm helping you out. Not a chance. Go fuck yourself. Well, this guy's an asshole. <laughs> Fine. Bye. Uh, no, I don't want to attack Daniel Murphy. Let's see what Danny boy can do to these mosquitoes, shall we? Where is he going? No, he's, he's... I don't know what he's doing. I guess he's going after that mosquito down there. What the hell is that? Did he hurt himself? There's a shotgun haul here. Did he go through a shotgun trap? Oh, he must have a shotgun is what it is. Yeah, he's wielding a double barrel shotgun. Dang. He is just blasting. Wow, look at that. Danny boy, you are pretty epic. I'm going to butcher these uh, mosquitoes. Oh wow, I actually got something. I got meat out of this. That's random. But, I, you know, I might as well go ahead and butcher this stuff since he's killing it. And I got meat. You know, if I could get meat this easily from other things, that would be great. Why is there so many mosquitoes down here? Jesus Christ. Oh, man. It's ridiculous. What is that? Yeah, I don't care about the heavy stick. I want to know what that is. It is a engine. Okay. God damn, there's a lot of mosquitoes. I don't know if they're coming. Oh, Jesus Christ. <laughs> How the hell? Am I supposed to get out of here? Uh, well, at least, uh, at least Daniel here is a uh, pretty badass and kicking ass. Why don't you shoot that thing? I'm gonna keep on uh, butchering random stuff. I might as well herd kerblam. Stop butchering. No. Did I stop butchering? I think I stopped butchering. Yes, I would like to resume it. No, I don't care about that. I know what that kerblam is. Because it's Danny boy. No, I don't want the bloody underbush. Okay, um... I think Danny is pretty okay to take out most of these things on his own. I don't know if I can get away from them properly though. Holy crap, there's a whole bunch of them. I imagine these things are quite deadly too. I don't think Jenny is going to make it at this rate. Not unless um, she gets real lucky. 
suppose I could get into this car and hope for the best. So, I can't really see. Let's see here. Okay, so I need to be on the other side, it looks like. I'm betting that this is probably flatbed truck. I'm betting it's probably busted somehow. Engine emits a sneezing sound, yeah. Nope. We are not going anywhere with this. Oh, fuck you. How in the hell am I supposed to get away from these guys? That is like the worst possible start. Okay, you know what? We're gonna we're gonna use these traps to our advantage here. Or at least we're gonna try. Oh no. <laughs> uh they're not falling for it. Not falling for it. Come on, mosquitoes. Come on. Kill yourselves. Seriously? I'm not going to live if I can't get these mosquitoes to kill themselves on this. There's no way I'm killing all these mosquitoes. They are too ridiculously overpowered. Alright, fuck it. Just run. Run! Wow, I seem to actually be getting away from these things. Ish. Okay, I'm betting they're still pretty close behind. Sort of. And... That is where he wants me to go? To a pharmacy? Jeez, do I even have that USB that he was talking about? Yes, I do. Okay, I'm gonna go up this way and... What is going on over here? Is this? It's a glittering sphere? Blood splatter? Rabbit corpse? What the fuck is the glittering sphere? <laughs> okay. That's random. We still got a mosquito on our tail at the moment. I don't think there's any others. I think it's just that one. I'd love to know what that glittering sphere is. Can I walk through this rubble? Slow. What is this? Perception negative three when I pick this thing up. What in the hell is this thing? Glittering sphere. Strange. I have no idea. The smooth sphere glitters faintly under direct light. Maximum of three charges. Can I, like, throw this at them or something? You have a vision of the surrounding area. Holy shit! <laughs> it's a fucking crystal ball! <laughs> that is awesome! Uh, well, that's random. Gun store. Wow, we found out that there's another town. Office tower. Furniture store. Well, I like that, because now I know that there's a whole bunch of stuff around here. Very good to know. Okay, I am going to continue my way. Now I'm hurting myself. I'm going to continue my way out of here. So somehow this random sphere just came and splat down. And killed a rabbit. And also, uh... Now I've got it. Okay. Well, that was uh, that was really random to find this sphere. And we definitely need to get some food, though. I think we're getting away from this mosquito at this point. Yeah, the mosquito seems to be gone. I think we're okay. Let's go ahead and eat these strawberries here. And um, I feel fairly, fairly safe now. We're okay. We made it out alive. Perhaps uh, Jenny the thief will uh, remain alive 
for uh, for much longer than I had first anticipated. Uh oh, something over there. Let's clean this. What the hell? What is that? Mound of dirt. What the fuck? I think I just found Tremor Town over here. There's something underground that's coming at me right now. What in the hell? <laughs> I don't know what is going on. I don't care. Don't mind the random shit. We're gonna have oranges and orange juice and be happy. Mm, orange. <laughs> and nice orange juice. Okay. Feeling good. Yes. We enjoyed that stuff. What the hell is going on? <laughs> I don't understand. Uh... Alright, what do we got here? We got a sewing kit. That's cool. Got some thread. String. Got some sheets here. Perhaps I can um, tear those apart and make something out of them. Maybe some bags, which would be nice. Let's see. Uh, where's the sheets at? Um, where the hell are the sheets at? Oh, I'm wheeling it like a weapon. I was like, where the hell is that? No, I can't disassemble it. If I had some scissors, I could tear it up. But, um, yeah, I can cut it up for a bunch of... Uh, rags, but I do not have the capability currently. I can't just rip it with my hands, so I'm going to go ahead and drop the sheet. And continue looking around here. Got a mop. We can start going around with a mop and uh, feel like we're the Toxic Avenger or something. That would be random. U.S. Weekly. I think this is going to become a home base here. At this rate. Is there anything in this desk? No. Some bookshelves. Cases. Whatever. You know what I mean. Aluminum can of cola. Sure, why not? We'll take it. Can you close that? No. I wasn't on it. <laughs> My bad. Anything good in here? We've got a pea coat. I shall wear the pea coat. I do not want to use the pea coat as a weapon. No, thank you. And nothing in the bathroom. Okay, well, we've got ourselves a small house here. Which is cool. We are going to, uh, oops. I did not want to do that. We're going to board up this window. I'm going to need to find some boards to do it. But I think smashing these bookcases... There's totally, like, a graboid or something out there. <laughs> uh, I found Crazy Town. Alright, I need those. I need this. And I need those. Now I can board up the window over here. Perfect. Also, yeah, it looks like there's, there's more of this mound of dirt happening. It's really random. There's... Yeah, there's definitely more. What the fuck is this stuff? It's got to be like some kind of sandworm thing. I don't know. <laughs> Fucking spice is flowing here. All right. Um, let's go ahead and board up this one. Oh, we can't. I need to make a stone hammer before I can do that. Um, let's see. What do I need for my stone hammer? Um, miscellaneous stone hammer requires heavy stick, rock, 
Oh, I've only got one rock currently, so I need to find another rock. Um, it requires some string, which I can do because I've got string currently. So let's go ahead and do that. My arms are getting warm. That's cool. Um, also, I did not want to do what I just did. Whoops. Let's go to the three foot string and we will disassemble it. Yes. And I'm going to start dropping this stuff right here until I've got everything I need. Oh, and I started with a picklock kit too. I did not even notice that. Derp on me. Alright, I should probably drop these chunks of meat into the fridge or something. I've also got some marijuana. <laughs> okay, I'm definitely some kind of hoodlum. Uh, no, I want that. I thought that was an L, but that's not. Alright, let's go ahead and drop some apples in here, chunks of meat, um, orange juice, corn, cola. Okay. Good. Very good. I just need... Oh, hi, Rock. I think we're good to go. Let's uh, start working on it then. Um, I need to make a stone hammer with Xerox. Okay, and then I need to board up a Z window. Perfect! And there's still a whole bunch of stuff here. That's great. Go ahead and drop my stone hammer on the ground. And grab my nail board again. Okay. Now this place is uh, fairly protected, other than the fact that there are creepy ass mounds of dirt that are just appearing. Oh, whoa! Giant worm! Hit our torso for 10. And we're blinded. Oh my. There are definitely giant snake things around here. Jeez. Okay. I gotta watch myself and keep away from those mounds of dirt. That is some dangerous stuff. Next time, we're going to continue searching through here and perhaps uh, get to the USB and hopefully we won't uh, run into any more giant worms because uh, we don't really need that happening to us. Anyway, bye for now.